Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you my Twilight collection. Yes, I am just a new convert to the Twilight franchise, so, um, yeah, so I got the book here, the original book, uh, but it has the movie poster, uh, on it. Um, I just got this today, and I thought... It was really cool that they had the Twilight book. I just need a uh, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And, but for some reason, I have all of the movies. Now, here I have Twilight Part 1. Well, just Twilight anyway. And yes, uh, these movies are with Christian Stewart and Robin Panson, which I can't wait for Robin Panson as Batman. That looks really cool. So, you can see that there's, um, there's some special features there. What's on the special features? Um... Uh, sorry, I'm... Um, audio commentary by Catherine Hardwick, Christian Stewart and Robert Panson. Music videos. Uh, never before seen extended scenes. I might need to check out the commentary for this movie because I actually surprisingly liked the film. Like, apparently everyone thinks that these, these movies are awful, but I thought it was alright. Like, it's not as good as, like... Like, I don't watch a lot of romantic films, so for a romantic film that, um, I don't watch a lot, but from one that i never seen before, it was actually alright. Um, Twilight, uh, New Moon, uh, this is when they started to call it the Twilight Saga, um, and yes, this is the only one I have on Blu-ray, uh, I've only seen the first one. I just watched it a few days ago. I'm up to New Moon now, but... Um, I will do reviews on them, especially the first Twilight, because I actually really enjoyed it. Um, but here we have Twilight Eclipse, which... I'm curious to watch all these, because, like... I kind of wanted to watch these films for a long time because I was always curious to check them out. Um, so, yeah, and then um, here we have Breaking Dawn Part 1. Uh, this one, spoiler alert on the back of the box, uh, Christian Stewart and Robin Persons Gary to get married. So, yeah, and then, like, it's weird, I'm kind of confused because his character uh, has long hair in the first one, but from the second one on, he's all short-haired, which is really confusing. But here we are, Breaking Dawn Part 2. This is the one where uh, they have a kid, because it's weird. Because all these films have, like... Um, See, if I just show you the first Twilight, it says supernatural themes and violence. But this one, Breaking Dawn Part 2, is supernatural themes, violence, and sex scene. Ooh. So different. Not. Um, but yeah, like, I'm very curious to watch this because, like, these, I've never seen these movies before, um, and I'm always been curious to check them out, and I have 
heard that they're bad. I've heard that they're uh, hilariously good and so like they're so bad that they're good. And But I actually really enjoyed the first one. And I thought that the first one was actually really good for um, for a romance kind of horror movie. And yes, I do put this in my horror movie uh, section of my DVD collection, but it kind of transitions it into a romance. Um, but yeah, I'm up to New Moon. I might watch this. Because um, I am going to record a review of Twilight, the first one. Um, I just can't find my video camera. Like, my normal video camera that I record on, I had it recently and now I can't find it. Oh wait, no, there it is. Oh, jeez. Like, it's weird because I always can't find something. Then I, seconds later, I go, oh, there it is. But no, found it. So I probably will uh, do that. And I will upload this one as well. I really like... Um, like, if you guys know me, I... Um, as soon as I watch a movie, I fall in love with it. So... The 2014 Ninja Turtles movie, I've fallen, fallen in love with that movie, so I wanted to watch more Turtles. The original movies, the cartoons, and stuff like that, which, on Twi with Twilight, it's the same thing. Even though I thought it was pretty good, um, I am going like, yeah, I want to watch the sequels, I want to read the book, which is weird. Now... For you major Twilight fans out there, why is there three books, but they start, but they decided to split Breaking Dawn into two movies? Why is that? I always wondered that. I'm, I'm curious why they did that because, like, I, because I've heard that apparently, like the first part of like when you do a two part movie the first one's really good but the second part's really bad but I've but again basically Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame are part one part two of Infinity War so um even though they did do a different title for Endgame they did um connect it to Infinity War because basically it was as soon as uh, they left Tony and Nebula on Titan, they picked them straight up in space because the opening was Hawkeye's family. So I am curious to watch them. Um, I will talk about these more in depth in my reviews. I'll do a review of the first one. Um, because I'm actually really curious to see what you guys think about these. Um, but yeah, I'm, I loved the first one. It was actually surprisingly good. So guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon to get notified of future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.